Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with a quick solar power update video. As you've seen before, this is my solar power cabinet. And the other day I did some work on the wiring. So this is my solar power cabinet. And as you know before, at the bottom here, to supply all my loads, there was a DC fuse box, which is this. So this was up here and all my loads was wired on this side and that side went to the load master switch through a circuit breaker that used to be here. Now the issue with this was that it used uh, blade fuses and if the fuse blew you had to replace it with another one which is a pain and the other issue here is that all the circuits were on at the same time there was no easy way for me to isolate individual circuits so what I did was I went on eBay as I do all the time and I was looking through the listings for DC circuit breakers and I got a good deal on some ETA 201 DIN rail circuit breakers. Now, these circuit breakers fit onto a DIN rail because they're also rated for AC power for use in houses and they would normally fit inside a consumer unit which has a DIN rail in it. So, but these ones are rated for between 65 and 80 volts. DC, they're made by ETA and they're made in Germany so they're a good quality and much better than all the Chinese junk that you see on eBay. So, but these are usually very expensive and I've seen prices starting from about £15 for one up to anything to over £100 plus for one. So. I saw a seller selling these on eBay and he was selling 10 for about 10 pounds. I, I bid up to 10 pounds and I won the, the auction. So that was very cheap. So it worked out to about a pound each. So I just snapped those up because I thought they were a very good deal. And that's what I'm going with. So I've had a tie jack with the wiring so out with the fuse box and out with the terminal block strip because it looked very untidy so and this is what I've replaced it with so the terminal block's gone and now I have a row of circuit breakers so so we have so I bought um, the the Auction lot consisted of 2 amp, 4 amp, and 8 amp circuit breakers, which were a reasonably good match to what I needed. So, what we have here is the circuit breaker on the left here is for my monitoring system, it powers my Raspberry Pi and my internet router, and that circuit is on all the time. It's fed from the the battery bank all the time so the circuit breakers on the right there are uh, six circuit breakers here but only five of them are wired up but these ones are connected through a load switch so that I can turn these off when I go to work when I go out and these circuits are turned off but my monitoring system is on all the time because it's wired directly to the batteries and that's what I wanted because I need the monitoring system on all the time so that I can monitor my system over the internet from work or when I go out so that has a permanent feed my charge controller is a Victron Energy 
Smart Solar MPPT 100-20 and that works very well. So there used to be a 5 amp circuit breaker here and I took that out. So my load switch feeds my row of circuit breakers. So I have uh, five circuits for the various things that I run. My lights, my DC sockets, workbench, etc, etc. And the good thing now is that I can turn off individual circuits if I want to and have the other circuits carry on working. So that's what I wanted to do. The wiring is a lot tidier and that's what I wanted. So uh, all the negatives are connected to a terminal block. This is actually an earth terminal block that I bought off of eBay. You can only use it say in your in your um, le electrical system to connect all the earth wires together normally. But I've used it here for the returns back to the battery. And it makes the wiring very easy. One leg of your circuit goes to the circuit breaker and the ground just goes to a common ground block. It makes it look very tidy. So, and my box is tidier and that's what I wanted. So, I wanted good quality circuit breakers that are made by a well-known brand. They're made in Germany. They are UL listed as well. And they're way better than all the Chinese made junk that you see on eBay that are not UL listed. And that can cause issues as well. These circuit breakers are also uh, slimline. They are very narrow compared to regular circuit breakers. So you can fit more in and they take up less room as well. And they fit on a standard DIN rail. I believe this is 35mm, I believe. And we have a bus bar at the top here, linking the tops together. It wasn't quite long enough for six, so I used a jumper wire. But in real life, I never used this 8 amp one, so I could take it out and the bus bar would fit across. So, this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching. And if you like my videos, please comment and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Thank you.